Hey, good morning, everybody. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. Happy Friday to every single one of you. Now, we still have a lot of rain that's coming out of what's left of the Invest 95L, and it has shifted more towards southeastern Texas, more on Louisiana, especially the Lake Charles area. So let me update you on that as well. But I'm going to let you know what's going on in the country as well as the tropics. Because like I said yesterday, I showed you that we're going to be getting a tropical pattern change. I'm going to update you today on whether there is going to be a tropical block for at least a week to 10 days. Also, is there going to be a series of severe weather coming? I had some people ask about these storms that's going to be coming through and it's going to be really dangerous. I'm going to update you on whether there's going to be any severe weather as well. I hope you have a very great Friday, a very great and safe weekend. God bless every single one of you. If you've never been here before, make sure you subscribe. I am all year long. Make sure y'all hit the like button if you are loving these updates. Thank you so much for all your time. I will be quick today. So real quick on the tropics in the Pacific, the tropical wave that's moving through there is weakening very bad. It's down to 50% now and it's not going to last much longer. It's going towards cooler waters. As you can tell, there's still no more growth expected for what's in the Gulf of Mexico. Plus, we still have potential tropical cyclone too. Still expected to be a hurricane in the Pacific, bringing maybe 60 miles per hour winds. That's about it. And the disturbance that's moving over the Caribbean has gone down as well. 10% chance, if anything. Now, as you can see, it's expected to be a tropical storm. Still, if it gets a center of location, don't even matter if it even gets a name or not. It's just the same impacts. And expected to be a hurricane by Tuesday, 2 a.m. in the Pacific. No real threat for anybody. You still have the tropical storm warnings and the hurricane watch because of the winds are going to be in the low 60s and the possibility of it to maybe get impacts of hurricane level. Still going to be around the same. And as you can see here in the NASA satellite that the next tropical wave does go towards the Bahamas. Very disorganized, shredded, getting pulled by this Azores high. Expected to bring more rainfall for y'all. And the next tropical wave coming off is just getting smothered still by a lot of dust. Nothing expected to come out of that but rainfall as well. But as you can see... Where this Azores High is up here in the northeast, it will be swinging down to the south and later on doing a big block. So as you take a look at your potential velocity anomaly according to GFS as well as Euro, you see we have the sinking air that's going to be passing through. So these waves are pretty much dying off. And we have the chances for something to form up. This is in the Pacific. By the 6th, this is going to be PTC2 becoming something over there. And the ones showing around the 8th or the 9th don't have much potential velocity anomaly at all. It is really weakening down and it'll be very short-lived. It could be for the Leeward and Windward Islands, maybe some winds, maybe some deep rain. That's about it. Then we have some more sinking air coming into our region all the way to at least the 15th of July. Now, when you look according to the euro, it shows the same thing as GFS all the way to the 15th and 16th of July with the sinking air. But it's also confirming that we're going to be having this sinking air, this big block that's going to be going on all the way to maybe the beginning of August. So as you look with the euro, you see we have this big Azores high pressure, Azores, Bermuda, and it starts guiding these storms like they're going now, just like PTC2 is doing going through Nicaragua very weak system but it will start stretching out to where it reaches towards the bermuda high and it will be be stretching all the way to the south and west which is high pressure and it'll start putting this block pattern in our mdr so nothing can come through so not only is there some dust there's a big high pressure that's coming and it's really going to be expanding out where it's just blocking anything from coming off to mdr and going into our Caribbean or towards our country guys. By July 7th, it really expands out and then it goes back and forth. While after that, then it starts opening up. The Azores high pressure moves away from Bermuda, goes more to the north, northeast, and this weakens down over here from what stretched out before. Then it's gonna start opening up again. That's not until all the way until the 10th of July. So it's definitely a big block going on. And the GFS shows the exact same thing, but it shows a little bit stronger of a block. As you go from the 7th towards the 10th, then the high pressure really expands out and puts a big block, not only on our MDR, also through our Caribbean, all the way into our Gulf where nothing literally could form. 
and you can see how the high pressure expands back so it goes to more towards a bermuda high as it swings a little closer to home still doing our block all the way to the 10th just like the euro is showing but after that because gfs goes a little further it's giving us a little hint that the bermuda high is going to start moving away to the east northeast and this blocking pattern is soon going to dissipate and start having room for storms to come off coast of africa this is by the 15th but so far that would be shoving it way south in the mdr it'd be a southern move across venezuela again going through southern caribbean maybe central america again as maybe the western side of the gulf of mexico not much could happen for the next two weeks and you can see this also on both models you have all your high pressure going through and everything coming off the mdr going into our caribbean don't have much precipitation with it it keeps pushing further and further south allowing nothing to come through everything's getting shifted right through venezuela right, right through central america because it's high pressure expanding all the way out and it will be a strong high pressure and look at the, how thin the precipitation is coming off to mdr and to compare gfs as well as you keep on going you see that the high pressure blocks everything from coming through the caribbean everything comes southern through venezuela through central america and pushes through maybe in the pacific ocean we might get some formations that would be the only area look how thin all this is because of this high block that is going to happen it is going to block our mdr and nothing can get through that and look at gfs takes it even further where anything that could form will go through venezuela form up somewhere by central america and go into the pacific and that will be the new pattern for at least a week probably two weeks you can see this with the rainfall totals this is a gfs everything is coming southern off the mdr maybe bottling up around nicaragua honduras central america going into the pacific now we do have a chance for a storm to come off somewhere around july 7th that's why you see this precipitation here not much over land at all euro is the same way coming right through to the south of the caribbean straight through central america into the pacific and maybe that storm that happens so here we are on the chances for a tropical depression with the euro and you can see as you keep on coming everything is blocked off nothing can come through or do anything maybe that storm around the 7th through the 10th but everything's going through central america this is all going to be blocked when you check it with the spaghettios from the euro the potential cyclone locations you can see nothing is forming nothing is in our region nothing can grow in our region with this big block there's not going to be any group of thunderstorms coming by this azores high maybe a front induced system but that is literally 300 hours away how how long do you think that is really going to be there that is showing by july 13th so that is well far away before that even need to take seriously everything is blocked for a very long time not a severe weather part of it because there is a lot more flooding that is going to continue to come as this is moving more east northeast on what that invest 95l was doing so in the next 24 hours from high resolution rapid refresh it has it all the way up towards lake charles with almost four inches cameron getting almost seven inches or more and in the next 48 hours as this continues to be putting rain on y'all look how much heavier it is now now we have almost 10 inches for bond wire over 10 inches for lake charles just a big heavy area of three to four inches of rainfall coming going all the way towards lafayette as well so this will be bringing a lot of rainfall still to come so you still have that to think about and all the rain that was coming towards georgia south carolina most of it is pushing offshore there will be some along the edges like savannah to charleston but everything else the worst of it is going to be offshore so let's take a look at these series of storms that are coming through whether it really will be severe weather or just a group of thunderstorms bringing out some much needed rainfall guys so you have for today you have marginal you have slight risk and you have a chance for small hail and you have a little chance for winds i'm showing the winds might be 20 maybe 30 miles per hour wind gusts for the next seven to ten days tornado nothing there's not really no severe weather for today you have a small chance for hail and some very light winds nothing to really worry about enjoy the rainfall if you do need it
Now for tomorrow, we have slight risk way over on the northeast. We have some marginal for severe weather, but a little bit of it is for hail, a very small percentage, and a little bit chance of winds, and I'm just not showing anything big. You might get some 30 miles per hour wind gusts. Tornadoes, nothing. That's tomorrow. And for Sunday, severe weather, because it is showing you have a 5% chance, this is going to be for the same thing. You have a small chance for some hail to come out of these systems because as the heat rises, it is going to make these thunderstorms a little bit worse. The convection is not there. You do not have chances for tornadoes or anything serious. So for these series of storms that are coming, there's no tornado threat, guys. There's no big wind damage threat. There's nothing but chances for small hail. That's it. And when you check and see what your chances are for damaging winds out of any of this, you see with the Euro for the next five days, your wind gust is tiny. Even this pink that you're seeing down here is in the high 30 miles per hour wind gusts. Everybody else is getting 20s to high 20s, maybe hitting 30. GFS agrees as well. Everything, if there's any winds that gets up to 40 or more, will be offshore within the next five days. Euro takes it further offshore. Next 10 days, nothing. Maybe that next system that comes from the 7th through the 10th, more winds offshore, as well as for the GFS, more winds offshore. For the next 7, 10 days, I'm not seeing any of these worrisome storms that you have heard about. Please stay calm. Please take what some of these people say with a grain of salt. They just want to get you to give them some money and pay their views. You don't have a serious threat coming, everybody. Nor do you have any more tropical activity for the next 7 to 10 days. And you can see from National Weather Service, your rainfall amounts for today that it will start to get more severe for southeastern Texas, southwestern Louisiana, and the coast of South Carolina and Georgia. Why you get a hot pocket right here for Kansas. That's just for today. Tomorrow, not much nothing. That blue is maybe an inch. As you go through Sunday, nothing. Monday, maybe another place for an inch. That's Monday. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, nothing. So as you add it up, you see for today and tomorrow what your rainfall is. But as you keep going, it don't add up for the next five days to much of anything. You might get a, a swath of one inch of rainfall that will be coming from the northwest over to the southeast of mid-Atlantic. But it's not really a whole bunch. Just that one pink area right here is a chance for up to two inches maybe. But this is within the next five days. So I really hope that I answered a lot of your questions on whether we're still getting that tropical block and that break, as well as a series of storms that y'all said that was going to be giving y'all a big major threat. I'm not showing that threat. But this is our main threat that we have right now, and this threat is going to be going away around 7 to 10 o'clock tonight. But we still have the flooding that's going to continue for Louisiana for tomorrow. So please pay attention to that. Your rain is still coming. But God bless all of you. Hope you have a very blessed day. Enjoy your fourth. Enjoy your weekend. Enjoy this big break that we're about to have from no severe weather or no tropical activity. Yay, I think a break in order would be nice. Psalm 30. I will extol thee, O Lord, for thou hast lifted me up and hast not made my foes to rejoice over me. O Lord my God, I cried unto thee, and thou hast healed me. O Lord, thou hast brought up my soul from the grave. Thou hast kept me alive, that I should not go down to the pit. Sing unto the Lord, O ye saints of his, and give thanks at the remembrance of his holiness. For his anger endureth but a moment, and his favor is life. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. And in my prosperity, I said, I shall never be moved. Lord, by thy favor, thou hast made my mountain to stand strong. Thou didst hide thy face, and I was troubled. I cried to thee, O Lord, and unto the Lord I made supplication. What profit is there in my blood when I go down to the pit? Shall the dust praise thee? Shall it declare thy truth? Hear, O Lord, and have mercy upon me. Lord, be thou my helper. Thou hast turned for me my mourning into dancing. 
Thou hast put off my sackcloth and girded me with gladness. To the end that my glory may sing praise to thee and not be silent. O Lord my God, I will give thanks unto thee forever. Amen. <laughs> God bless you all. Have a very blessed weekend. Be safe with your travels if you are traveling. There is not a serious set of severe weather coming, guys. Nor is there any tropical activity coming anytime soon. <laughs> all power. All glory does go to Yahweh, God of Jacob, our Father, our God. And he will keep us safe. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Have a great weekend, everyone. I'll see you Sunday morning.